here's a very important piece of information <laughs> that's going to really prove to be the success of you as a parent and that is no matter what you do as far as technology and screen time is concerned no matter how many restrictions you try and put on your child no matter how ahead of the game you try to be with them you are always going to lose the war because no matter how many steps you think you are ahead of your child your child is going to be ahead of you Welcome to Dad Musings and this podcast is about my musings as a father. You know things I've done with my kids, the fun we've had, the trips we've taken, the advice I've given, the fights we've had and it all culminates down to when you're musing or thinking about it and just getting nostalgia about all the, all the stuff you've done together. and you think about oh my god could i have done that differently should i have done that differently and uh, if i could go back in time i wonder what would have happened had i done things in a different manner right so this is about me sharing my perspective and not just my perspective but perspective of my kids my daughter mishka who is 16 my son kahan who is 11 and my wife chuckles and i bring in all their perspectives to understand that oh is is this how i believed it was while the rest of us saw it very differently or are we on the same page so without further ado let the musings begin Everything should be amazing. Kids are sweet and adoring, but so confusing. What to do? Just listen to dad musings. Today I continue to muse about screen time. We were discussing this in the last episode and it kind of went over 20 minutes. So we are continuing the last one into this episode and the last one we spoke to my son Kahan. who's 11 years old and his perspective on screen time and when we ban him and is it good or bad and you might be surprised <laughs> to hear his answers and his perspectives and uh, it made me feel wow uh, he's a lot more mature than he looks or he's yanking my chain and do a fabulous job of it <laughs> So anyway that being that we move on to today's podcast and we continue on uh, musing about screen time and I will now talk to my daughter Mishka who is 16 years old and as we've just discussed we are under no illusion that our kids are always two steps ahead of us so Kahan's a little young he's still 11 but he's well on his way of getting ahead of us and we've been warned time and time again by by the school by authorities by parenting figures you know that they will they will find a way to bypass the checks you put on them and no matter how clever you are you may be the IT head of the biggest company in the world and you may know how it works and how to hack and how people can fool you and therefore what to look out for but you just cannot win with your kids they will always be ahead of technology than you because it's in their dna now for example i didn't give mishka my 16 year old the password for netflix or any other streaming service and she didn't bat an eyelid like we had to give her a laptop so we did because she needed it for school but in my head it was like very clear let's not give her any other distractions youtube has very limited videos of course this was back in the last I think four years ago had very limited amount of stuff you could get. So, what can she be distracted with? And she will not get access to any of the video streaming services. And she didn't bat an eyelid. That's cool, Dad. It's all well. Of course, I found out six months later that, and she herself came and told me that, "Hey, don't worry. We have three to four streaming services that show everything under the sun. So, it I don't need any services." I don't need any of your passwords or anything. And I was like, "Oh my god, what, limit her screen time to what? I mean, how do I know what she using it for? And she studies at night way in, way past 12 o'clock now with her uh, 10th grade exams going on. And there is no way, no way we can tell or control what she does with her screen time. So let's try and understand from her. How, how miserably 
वी आर फेलिंग और सक्सीडिंग विथ हर एंड स्क्रीन टाइम सो मिश्का वी हैव रियली ट्राइड एंड पर हैव फेल्ड मिजरेबली टू लिमिट योर स्क्रीन टाइम एंड थ्रेट इन टू पुट लॉक्स ऑन योर स्क्रीन threaten to i don't know uh, make you feel terrible about what you're doing on screen etc how did that make you feel i invoke my fifth amendment right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's far better than your brother did because kahan was all about i love it when you restrict my screen time oh oh, you, oh god you you, you think so he was fake. pulling a fast one on us yeah yeah for sure oh really he yeah. really believed it i told him three or four times kahan don't pull a fast one. he said no 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 it was really great you know what i think he really thinks like he that he's telling the truth like he genuinely believes that he's being serious but when he's running around crying and throwing yeah, tantrums yeah that's a separate that's that's a giveaway that's when you know that's when you know okay how do i feel i feel like you guys don't trust me but we don't <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I mean that's why we restricted. Because you say I'm doing my homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we let her laugh for a bit on that. Because when we walk into your room and your hand moves quickly across the mouse pad to change the screen you're I don't on. Know what you're about. Yeah, uh, that 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 just shows that you know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the most natural reaction. Like if I'm caught stabbing somebody and somebody walks into the room, how the knife goes behind your back and like, oh, hello. Why are you saying that so casually? Like it's happened Be- before. Let's talk about that Because instead of screen time. That's what you please. look like when your hand moves okay. over the screen to cover yeah. what's what's been happening, right? So how do you feel? You know when we don't <laughs> trust you <laughs> on the amount or the way you use your screen. It sucks. Okay, great. <laughs> that's that's the answer to all the world problems uh when you study yeah right for math and history and we're not talking about art right and i'd love to get into that though <laughs> yeah and there's constantly or they used to constantly be something on like you would go through seasons of shows hmm i mean think of it then how you felt and why was it needed and now how do you feel and do you feel otherwise um I mean then obviously I like Kahan I genuinely believe like it's fine and I'm able to multitask it and I'm fine looking back and after you all did like point it out multiple times it did like yeah maybe this isn't working and what did you feel when when we pointed it out multiple times there was a sense of denial of like No, you don't know what you're talking about. I know that it's fine and I know it's working, but it wasn't. Now think about it from a slightly more mature perspective. Oh god. Was it like almost akin to us taking away drugs from a drug addict? How did you react? In a much less intense sense, of course, but yes, it could be a comparison one can draw. you are or you were hooked on to i yeah having to do something else that multitasked a lot multitask with. trying to do i think more than anything just trying to uh take away from the main focus of studying itself because it's not the most fun thing in the world to do so i needed something to like motivate me to just sit down and do the manual work of it and in my way it was watching a show or listening to music while doing math and of course in at that moment i really did think that like no it's fine but it wasn't which is why yeah i think it i mean maturely if i'm looking at it yes it can because you're so mature now thanks yeah yeah um uh, So if you had to do math now would you be tempted to put on something on your screen and watch a TV show while doing it I mean that temptation is, is always there it's very easy to just put on something and do it No but knowing the result knowing how knowing, e- efficient you would be or productive you would be Knowing the result I would probably not I would definitely it might take me like a second 
I'm like I have to think about it for a second and say no don't do that maybe you know study a little bit don't want to fail but knowing the result I would not so essentially and I presume like most parents listening to this podcast I have been absolutely and totally flummoxed because they seem to know what they're doing at the same time they have no clue they seem to believe they are being responsible at the same time they behave absolutely like they're not responsible and we can enforce restrictions but they know how to bypass those restrictions totally and completely at the same time looking like angels and making them feel like they are following what we've told them to we can win a few of the battles but i think the war is always theirs to win so i kind of give up and i open the mic to chuckles my wife on how does one win the war on screen time and kids oh no oh no yeah uh it's the bane of my existence <laughs> oh no right no really it's more important than the yin and yang or why the chicken cross the road it's 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 more confounding than any question you know it is such a wonderfully creative constructive tool if only used right unfortunately the kids just find a way of using it so wrong and so detrimental to their uh but isn't that with everything in life like nuclear armament nuclear weapons versus nuclear energy guns to kill versus guns for peace i don't know i mean it's etched in our dna as you as human beings to... yes but it's not so easily accessible nuclear armament is not so e- easily accessible to children to use negatively uh or positively the screens are just there all the time i've attended multiple workshops uh had discussions at school where exactly what you said we've been told they will find a way to outsmart you they are the next gen and don't try and go one step above beyond them because you'll you'll never be able to catch up they are always a step ahead of you from what i've learned and from what i have imbibed so far the simplest thing is to not fight them go with them have conversations and keep trying to find ways and introduce them to ways in which they can use it constructively and creatively because it, however this might be the bane of my existence i also see the flip side when the child uses it positively i am like overflowing with pride and i say yes that's my next generation bachcha who's using it so well to maybe do coding or maybe solve a problem that i'm having and they like oh it's so simple or design and, something for you or design something yes so when it is used creatively oh yeah i'm very proud because that's that's the child who's going to prosper in their life in the next generation where i will probably take a back seat so it's a balance like we try to balance kahan's viewing on tv for example let's say okay if you must watch tv then watch something to do with history or watch something to do with the language you're learning let's say hindi or marathi or in marathi or watch some discovery channel or nat geo or something on animals did that last very long not at all i can count the minutes or hours that it lasted they also know that if the parents are in a bad mood then they will say oh how about let's watch a documentary because they know that will calm us down but no it doesn't last uh, also the kind of content that they not just are watching but churning out is something that is way beyond me it's mindless it is bizarre the kind of things that are getting eyeballs from random people so when i said that you know tr- let us try and harness the children and let them 
make good content maybe that will you know take them further in life maybe he'll become a good editor or he'll make films one day so i gave him a lot of tips on how to do a vlog and how it can be informative and everything and he did follow me for a bit but eventually when he does in my words in my opinion brain dead content it goes viral it goes viral so again i'm flummoxed i don't know what to say what is what what is it so when he makes good intelligent content giving information people are bored people don't want to see that so it's not gratifying for him when he doesn't get the views however if he does something really silly about slime or about uh, i don't know just uh, a cartoon character jumping up and down yeah or asmr which is a very very common catch phrase which is just like un- un- unpacking a new thing is called asmr and that goes viral i have nothing to say so this is not a war that we can win no it's not a war we can win so what do we do we <laughs> we, uh, we just hope that they grow up fast get out of the house and leave us alone yes i have no answer to this one all right i think we've met our match with screen time and yeah all the best to all you parents out there <laughs> we have no answer so all right that's it then wow it seems like we've actually and finally and truly met our match with screen time it's important it's the future it's teaching your children it's arming them with the tools that will constitute the correct armament the correct weapons that will allow them to navigate the world at the same time it's kind of kind of uh, getting them down changing their mood maybe killing a lot of creativity uh, getting them cranky it's it's wow it's what it's it's great and it's terrible <laughs> so what do we do i don't have the answer to this but i mean this is what we do and uh, you know this probably could work for you too and one of the things was that we use screens in shared spaces um for example like your drawing room or your living room or your dining room where there's constantly people going around walking by because this of course uh, kind of like an open door policy that is don't do it behind closed doors this makes them feel more accountable makes them feel more responsible for what they are watching and what they are doing because anyone can walk in at any point of time and it gives them a feeling of anxiety of let me not do something wrong let me do the right thing because i don't want to be caught doing the wrong thing we also try and keep another open door policy if i may use these words with our kids and that's basically about what have they been seeing on the internet they come and discuss with us stuff that they've seen which could be embarrassing or which has really adversely affected them like i remember kahan coming to us uh, at a much younger age saying dad i I'm, i'm very upset i i saw some some women or some men they are half naked and they had no clothes on and i i'm sh- it was wrong i i is it wrong i don't know i it, it just did not feel correct and uh, we were like okay can you take us back to where you saw it and i don't think he could because it may have been a pop up ad or you know that thing that comes on the right side of your browser where ads are constantly being showed to you and it 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 didn't come again but we had an idea of what he was talking about and we spoke about it and we said you know what it's not age appropriate which is why you're feeling the way you are and don't worry about the way you're feeling because it's good that you're feeling this way you feel something was inappropriate was not correct it's making you feel vastly grossly uncomfortable and there's truth to that feeling 
So don't run away from it. Just embrace it. Be okay with that feeling. And let's discuss what you saw. Oh, so this is what they were doing. They were dancing or they were hugging each other and getting really up close. And that made you uncomfortable. And okay, so this is kind of what the world is. And this is what people do. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's something that adults go through and they do. And which is why it's not age appropriate because you're too young to know these things or understand it or it's not just about why are you too young to know it or understand it is because you're too young to deal with something that doesn't really come into the realm of your universe and we really truly thrashed it out and he was a lot more comfortable at the end of that saying oh, okay fine so the next time i see it i'm not going to get so shaken up about it but i'll just ignore it and move on which i think was the best we could do at that time another thing you can do youtube for kids worked very well for us especially when he was younger because it kind of filtered through all that content that was so age inappropriate and of course we finally had to lift it but when we did he was much more comfortable with anything that might come his way a parental controls screen locks program locks until you can why not but at some point they're going to bypass it i mean even comments like we spoke about kahan in the earlier podcast we did put restrictions that nobody should be able to or allowed to comment on his videos and it works up to a point is protecting them until it's age appropriate enough for them to be able to handle the world when they come of a certain age and lastly i would say if you must watch tv or they must watch tv you know watch something that might help like a documentary or animal planet or something that will add to their knowledge in a more constructive manner and like like aditi said you know it it worked up to a point but largely it did not with with kahan our son so oh, but i would say even if he had to watch it 3 times out of 10 where he would have watched it 0 times out of 10 it still was more than nothing or 3 times more than nothing so to my mind it still did work okay then that was the dad musings about screen time it's truly got us flummoxed and if just like me you wonder if you're doing the right thing with your kids or you have friends who are in the same conundrum and trying to figure things out you know this is a good space for us to meet for us to share our views and if you'd like to share your views with us just record it record it send it to me at chintubhosle.com and i would love to share your audio recording on my next podcast with all our other listeners right so do hop on to this awesome community of parenting and my dad musings and remember if you think you're thoroughly confused and full of doubt with respect to the things you do with your kids and the parent you are you are not alone i'll see you soon oh my god what is happening our kids have got us balding are you in the dark need some light subscribe to dad musings <laughs>